Welcome back everybody, my name is Andrew and this is Kite Army. So the younger me thought that everything could be fixed with a sledgehammer. Now in this case we're talking chainsaws. This is the most powerful battery chainsaw you can buy. This is an 18 inch, it's a beast. But sometimes you need something a little smaller, sort of like the right tool for the right job. So today I'm gonna to show you three battery powered pruning chainsaws that are awesome, they're small, and it turns out that sometimes a scalpel actually beats a sledgehammer. So the three pruning chainsaws we're gonna be checking out today are right here. First off, we have the Ryobi eight inch battery powered chainsaw. This is powered by the 18 volt one plus platform. Next up, we have this guy right here. This is a Milwaukee six inch. This is the smallest of the bunch and this is powered by the M12. And lastly, we got a Makita. This is the largest, this is a 10 inch chainsaw. So why don't we go inside and check out all these chainsaws up close. So let's start by checking out this Ryobi 8 inch battery powered chainsaw. So this chainsaw is powered by the Ryobi One Plus system, which takes a 18 volt battery. So let me show you how to operate this chainsaw. With a thumb, you have to pull back this trigger right here and then push this button right here and the chainsaw will begin. The one thing I'll say about this model is we're gonna talk more about what it doesn't have rather than what it does have. So first off, it does not have an oiler. So that means you're gonna get premature failure of the chain. It also, and I'll show you this in a second, doesn't have a roller up front here. It just has a groove in here, which means the chain won't run as smooth. Uh, it's not a name brand chain, it's not an Oregon chain, it's another brand, and you can see that it didn't cut as well in my videos. The one thing it does have going for you is the tool for the chain is right here in the handle, which is really nice. Let's open this up. Now I should say this cover is plastic, so the quality here is not super good. So let's see what we do here. That gets that off. And here's the chain. As I said, it doesn't have a roller up front there. It's just a groove. Don't tighten it down all the way. Just have it like finger tight. Make sure your chain's in there. Now, if I turn this clockwise, you'll see it'll pull that chain in and tighten it up. Now, the ideal tightness is much more than that. Let's go. Let's see. Right around there, we get a nice snap. So once you get that, you can tighten down this bolt right here, and that will secure the bar, and you're ready to go. So next up, we have the Milwaukee Fuel M12 six inch pruning chainsaw. Now, I told you that I really like this chainsaw. It's super light. You kind of operate it like this. You put your hand up front there, and you have a lot of control of this chainsaw. Now, it is powered by their very popular M12 battery. To remove the battery, let me show you that real quick. You just squeeze right here and give it a yank. So that's how you pull out the battery. Now, it does have a fuel gauge right on the side here. Let me show you how that works. To operate the chainsaw with this slider right here, you just push and then pull the trigger. And that's how you operate the chainsaw. You'll notice they have a chain adjustment tool right down here, which is nice and handy. They also have the oil reservoir to lubricate the bar right here. Again, that's really convenient. It's got a sight glass as well. Um, on the front here is how you adjust the chain. Let me show you that real quickly. We'll pull off our tool. Now, if you want to adjust the tension, you don't have to pull that all the way out. You just loosen a little bit and then with the other side of the tool here, you can just crank it down a little bit. You'll see you get some nice tension in there. Now let's actually remove the cover here so you can see how it looks like on the inside. I believe this is an Oregon chain, which is really good quality. Here's the bar for the Milwaukee. You see it's got a roller on the edge here, which means the chain glides really easy as it goes along there, not a lot of friction. It's also got an oiler, so that just lubricates the chain as it moves by. So let me show you how to reinstall the blade. You basically put it around the drive here like that. Make sure the pin of the blade adjustment goes through that hole right there. Once you get that on, put your cover in place like that. Again, don't tighten this down all the way because you wanna make sure you tension that chain properly and we are good to go. So the last chainsaw we're gonna be checking out today is this Makita LXT 18 volt 
10 inch brushless chainsaw. So this feels more chainsaw than it does pruning chainsaw. To operate it, you push this button right down here, you put your hand on the handle right there, which activates this trigger, and then pull the trigger. You can see it's got a bar stop on it just in case you get a kickback. Let me show you how that works. It actually has a lubricated bar, so there's the where you put your lubrication right there. But what's neat about this particular model is you can actually control the amount of lubricant that is put on the bar right here. Now in the back here, it is powered by a Makita 18 volt battery. This same battery is used on a bunch of Makita tools. So let me show you quickly how to adjust the bar on this model. You can see we've got a little bit of slack here. Let me show you how to take that out. First off, with this tool, you just release that nut there just a little bit. Now to tighten it up, you just go clockwise here a little bit, and you can see that chain will fit and seat right into the bar. All right, so let's remove the cover. There's the bar. You can see there's a lot of metal components on the inside, just like the Milwaukee. It's got a roller on the end of the bar. So in a nutshell, that is a Makita LXT 18 volt, 10 inch battery powered chainsaw. All right, guys, it is time for the wrap up. Now I've tested all three of these pruning chainsaws and they all sort of worked well. Now there is one of these chainsaws that is definitely my favorite. I'll share that with you in a minute. Now the other thing about these pruning chainsaws that you may or may not know is they're really great because they're small to get in really tight spaces. If you wanna prune a small branch, they work great for that. Now the other thing that I showed you in this video is they're really convenient and they increase safety if you're using a ladder. So let's go through each one of these pruning chainsaws and I'll tell you my opinion on each one. Let's start with this Ryobi eight inch pruning chainsaw. Now this is absolutely a no frills chainsaw and it's not only just in its features, it's also in its performance. It did not cut that well. In fact, it just felt like really ragged cuts and the blade seemed to wear down faster than the other two chainsaws. So I would say unless you are on a really tight budget, don't buy this Ryobi chainsaw. So that brings me to the Makita 10 inch chainsaw. Now this feels more like a full size chainsaw. So keep that in mind. If you have really large logs to cut, you may consider the Makita. So that brings us to the Milwaukee chainsaw. This is absolutely my favorite of the group here. So overall, my recommendation of this group is definitely the Milwaukee M12 six inch battery powered chainsaw. All right guys, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and then let's buzz on over to that video right there. Boop.